guys, welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the politics and BS. So Mary Trump, she stays on her uncle's neck and I am 100% here for it at all times. So she shared, which we, I mean, we already kind of knew this when it comes to him, but I just love to hear her say it. She's sharing the real reason why her uncle is really, really mad right now. You know, it was like a little bit of, he felt like at least smooth sailing for him when Joe Biden was the Democratic nominee running for re-election. But now that Joe Biden has filed out gracefully and has allowed and endorsed Kamala Harris to step up to the plate and do her thing, He's mad right now. He's really, really mad right now because now he's the old man on the stage. Now he is the, you know what, the meow (laughs) running away from this smart woman, this educated woman, this experienced woman from a debate that he already had promised that he would show up to. And now he's backing out and saying no he's not going for it, it's going to have to be on his turf on Fox News on a date that he chooses because that date that he previously promised to show up to had nothing to do with Kamala and it was all about Joe Biden. It shouldn't matter if he was debating the Cookie Monster. Even the Cookie Monster would beat him in a debate. But I'm just saying, the fact that he's backing out right now and he's he's big mad and he's saying, oh, today she's black, but yesterday she was Indian and all this other foolishness that really does not mean anything at all. Mary Trump is going for the number one thing that is got him heated at this point in time when it comes to Kamala. And she basically just put it out there. She In her email newsletter, she said that the thing that's most driving his rage is the fact that he has taken a backseat to a black woman who now he's trying to call Indian, but I digress, who has all of the energy, the enthusiasm, and youth on her side. She wrote that his rallies are boring reruns, grievance-filled rants, and incomprehensible non-sequencers. And the thing about it is, it's true. I don't know how anybody could go there and stand to listen to that garbage that he spews. It is incoherent. It's ridiculous. And it's all about him. But Kamala, she is not having to beg and plead for anybody to come out to her rallies. They are packed. People are celebrating. People are energized. And she is laying out a comprehensive and optimistic and forward-looking vision for the country. And she calls him out. She calls him out. She is not standing back to his cruelty, his cowardice, or his criminality. And she said that he's he can do nothing more but be the racist bully or wannabe bully that he is because he's not a real bully. He's the type of bully where they they talk a lot, but their actions really are non-existent. And for whatever reason, they draw other people to them that want to be on their team. And they have like a team of people that are willing to put themselves in the line of fire, even if it means getting physical for the sake of this bully that they low-key worship. And that's really what Donald Trump is. So I'm absolutely here for it. And and it's true. I've never been one that would want to go to a rally of any, for anybody. Like I never was one. And I'll be honest, if there was one in my town, I might go to it. I, I might go to it just to, just for the experience and to say that I was there. But people really are energized. People are really feeling it. And I'm not getting caught up in the hype of everything when it comes to the entertainment factor and all of that other stuff. For me, it's more about the substance. And more importantly, it's about 
getting rid of the cancer. Like we have got to keep that chemo and radiation going on this cancer, Donald Trump, to obliterate it and destroy it. All right. So that's what it's really all about for me. So you guys can let me know your thoughts about what Mary Trump had to say about her uncle. (laughs) and in the comments section guys thanks for being here liking and subscribing i'm beth just being beautifully honest so until next time i wanted to keep it brief beautiful and now i'm gonna say bye